Strikes. The pitch. Tostado swings and drives one. Deep right center field. Long run for the right fielder Sanchez. He is looking up, and that ball is off the base of the wall. Fielded by the center fielder Frazier. Throw comes in towards second. One run scores. And moving up to third base is Diego Rinconis on the RBI double from Frankie Tostado. One-two pitch hits Fitzgerald up and in off of his shoulder, and that's going to force in a run. That was a fastball that slipped out of the hand of Kyle Nicholas. And the Flying Squirrels have a 2-0 lead. And out the window to a fan it goes. Swing at the one-two pitch is lifted into center field. Matt Frazier lining it up. Center fielder makes the catch. Plenty deep enough to score a run as Frazier's throw goes toward the middle of the diamond and it's cut off by the first baseman. Shackelford, it's a sacrifice fly to deep center by Jim. And a 2-1. Swing and a hard shot on a hop. Past the shortstop and into left field. A base hit. Wave for Gonzalez as he touches third and turns for home. Left fielder's throw is not in time. And Piguero takes second. And look at that. There's nobody covering third base. And Lee overs at third. 3-2 pitch to Sable, swung on and lifted to deep right field. Hayward tracking this one into the alley. Right fielder is there, but that one plenty deep enough to score the run as Piguero crosses home. Finally, the first out of the inning recorded, but Altoona has drawn even. We are tied at three. Amongst an RBI double to Shackelford, who swings at this offering and lifts it to deep left center field, looking up, and that ball is out of here. Aaron Shackelford is headed to Souvenir City. And he's got three tickets on this ride. Altoona's broken it open here in the first inning. It is a 7-3 lead. Right-hander deals again. Sanchez swings, lifts one high in the air to deep left field. Rinconis is back. He's at the track, and it is out of here. Third home run of the ball game for Altoona. As Lolo Sanchez makes it an 11-3 game. Nicholas winds and fires. His next pitch is swung on and crushed down the left field line. This has got the distance and it's got the straightness. It's a home run as it just wraps around the left field foul pole. Solo shot for Martorano. It is his sixth of the season, and an 11-4 game here in the top of the third inning as Richmond chips into the large deficit. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on and lifted well into left field, chasing back after it is Marcano. He's on the warning track, looks up, and that ball is gone. A four-bagger for Shane Matheny, his sixth of the season. It's a two-run shot, cutting into that lead a little more for the Flying Squirrels, it's an 11-6 Altoona lead here on the top of the fourth inning. Dan, that does not reset the pitch clock. So a full count pitch to Arbach is swung on and lifted into deep left field. Back on the warning track is Marcano. He leaps at the wall and cannot make the catch. It's back-to-back -back home runs for the Flying Squirrels. Brett Arbach teams up with Shane Matheny in the exact same spot in the left field bleachers. It's the fifth of the year. Side of the rubber, runner is going, pitch swung on, served down the left field line, that lands fair. Sable's gonna keep running, headed for third base as it eludes the left fielder Rinconis in the corner. This will allow Sable to score. That's an RBI double for Tucapita Marcano. And Altuna now has a 14 to eight lead. One two pitch. Swung on and hit well, dead center field. Sables rounding first, the center fielder at the wall. He looks up, it's gone. Blake Sable, his fifth home run of the season, pours the runs on the top for Altoona. The 15th run of the day for the curve comes on the solo shot. Here's a 1-2 offering home. Scott swings. It's a grounder fair off the bag. Knocked down by the first baseman, Tostado. Still running toward home as Marcano. Throw goes there, and it's not in time as the throw is off the mark. Blocked by the catcher, Martorano. And Altuna has set their franchise.